<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you to the reception portion of the evening tonight. Before we get started, I think it is pertinent to introduce the wedding party. Proudly representing Molly's side of the equation are the lovely girls in front of me. Aaron Winters go. Jill Proudfoot. Kate Phillips. And lastly, Jill Margetts. Molly's older sister and maid of honor. A round of applause for the ladies, please. Representing Cody Margetts. <laughs> Jesus Christ, look at this collection of animals over here. Started with Dan DC Cummings. Dan hitchhiked all the way from California to be here with us today, subjecting himself and others to unspeakable horrors en route. Andrew Caveman Caved. Best hair in the game today. He's already had two dips of chewing tobacco and I've barely started speaking yet. Up Ryan King, ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Salter. Yay. Robinder Singh here, aka Bindi Big Deal. Bindi was voted the MVP of Base United Soccer Team this year. <laughs> <laughs> lastly, lastly, we've got Lewis Gay Lou Edmonds. And Cody's best man, Eric Big Bear Scott. We'll, we'll get to those two later, don't worry. A tepid, obligatory round of applause for this collection of animals, please. I'll try and keep it brief. As I know the guys need to have their suits back before 9 p.m. or they'll be charged extra. <laughs> and of course to the newlyweds, I'd like to propose the first of what I'm sure will be many toasts. Drinks northward, please. To Molly and Cody, I love both of you guys. I wish you a lifetime of happiness together. And I'm honored that you chose me to be the MC of what I'm sure will be a, a legendary evening. <laughs> the best is yet to come to the bride and groom, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right. I've been to 15 cities in the last week. I arrived late last night from beautiful Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, yeah. Business obligations meant I wasn't able to visit the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as I had originally hoped. But I'm happy to be here emceeing the wedding of two absolute rock stars. On behalf of the Margetts and Fitzsimmons families, I'd like to open the reception by welcoming everybody who made it here today, traveling distances far and wide to share in the celebrations. To clear up some housekeeping issues, uh, I believe the bathrooms are located over there. The smoking area is obviously anywhere outside, and the bar will be open during dinner and until midnight or until those guys drink it dry over there. <laughs> as far as the itinerary is concerned, there will be dinner after I'm done with the monologue here. There's going to be five speeches, six speeches. There will be six speeches. <laughs> and then we're going to cut the cake and get the DJ going. I, yeah, I don't know. If, Jesus Christ. I don't know. I don't know if you can see him from over there. But ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for the DJ. <laughs> DJ, DJ Phil Kessel. <laughs> that's a hockey joke. I'm sorry, that's DJ Denny Carson. <laughs> Not only do you look like the Toronto Maple Leafs forward, you share other similarities with them as well. 
As some of you know, Phil Kessel was the last player picked for the NHL All-Star Game. Danny, I hate to break it to you, you weren't their first choice either. <laughs> Phil Kessel has a hard time scoring. Danny, if it wasn't for those drug-infested after-hours parties you DJ for free on weekends, you probably wouldn't score either. But enough about the third choice DJ, and more about myself. I'm sure some of you have had the distinct pleasure of meeting me before, but for those of you who haven't, particularly the impressive single female demographic here with us tonight, <laughs> my name is Ty Lemon. I'm a close personal friend of the groom, and I played on Cody's soccer team for a few years now. I also play hockey, and I'm into boxing. <laughs> but right now, standing before you in this outfit, I feel as if I'm going 12 rounds with my own sexuality. <laughs> my life has been a constant evolution. Indeed, I've gone from strength to strength. In high school, I acted in scenes with Harrison Ford and Rob Lowe. Now I emcee weddings and sell squeaky toys and products that prevent your dogs from consuming their own feces. <laughs> Some of you may know me by my alias, the dog father. Before I met Molly, I had heard through the grapevine that some of Cody's friends some sitting at that very table over there, in fact, were genuinely scared of Molly. <laughs> Stern but fair, they would say. Stern but fair. <laughs> so in order to get on her good side, I would come over with toys and treats to give to their dog, Tucker only to find him half unconscious on the couch, drooling, food everywhere, and playing with himself. Oh, sorry, my bad. That was Cody. <laughs> but what a gorgeous day, gorgeous wedding, gorgeous people, gorgeous setting. Molly, you looked absolutely stunning. Cody, you look absolutely stunned. Like any proud groom, Cody told me he was extremely nervous before the ceremony. He was anxious, he was sweating a lot as you could probably tell. So he had a couple stiff drinks to try and calm himself down. Afterwards, just over there, he had the nerve to tell me he looked like Denzel Washington. But I'm here to tell you people, Cody, you did look like Denzel Washington in the movie Flight. It actually went a lot like his proposal. For those of you who don't know, Cody proposed to Molly on Dallas Road. I heard it was very romantic. He, he likes to think it went smoothly, like it went off without a hitch. Cody felt like he proposed like a champion, like, like Muhammad Ali. But I spoke in depth with Molly about the sequence of events. Turns out his proposal was a lot like Muhammad Ali and that Cody has a similar skin tone, he could barely get the words out, and he was shaking vigorously the entire time. Too soon. Too real. But in all seriousness, Cody's very lucky to have Molly as a wife. I think anyone who has seen them together would wholeheartedly agree that they are a great couple. What an absolute achievement or for Cody specifically, in overachievement. <laughs> Not only is Molly a beautiful, caring, caring, and smart individual, some of you may not know, but she speaks three languages. <laughs> she speaks English, a little French, 
and the lawyer jargon I've heard her speak around the house that I'm sure only her father can understand. <laughs> but, don't count, <laughs> but don't count Cody out just yet. Cody speaks three languages as well. He speaks English, a little bit of French, and whatever the hell language he was speaking in the 2 a.m. cab home during his bachelor party. <laughs> But it is understandable that I'd be up here tonight. With the flagrant alcoholism demonstrated by that group during that weekend, I'd be surprised if they could even see me right now, let alone speak coherently. As most of you know, Molly and Cody have been together for six years. But the past few months have been incredibly special for them. They were engaged a little while back. They're now married. They bought a house together as well. Congratulations. Cody actually captained Bays United to the Island Championship for Soccer. Where are my Bays boys at, for God's sake? Oh. <laughs> and Molly, she excelled with her law studies and began working on cases, I understand. I, I can only assume that, Molly, that you're treating Cody as a pro bono type of kid. <laughs> At least now you'll have a life partner by your side, someone more qualified than Scotty, who can inform you that, yes, Cody, what you are in fact about to do is illegal. As most of you know, they say that lawyers are terrible people. Just horrendous human beings. Well, it looks like dinner's ready. So let's eat. Let's keep the drinks flowing. Enjoy your dinner. You guys can drink. Afterwards, we'll reconvene for the speeches. Christine will now direct you to your tables momentarily.